it's pretty complicated, but uh, I'll tell you what it's all about. It's not, not that hard, but uh, it would blow your mind if you're doing it for the first time. But uh, these two valves, uh, wheels were to control the amount of steam going in. This one is for the forward steam, and if you turn this this way, you're going to open the valve and get more steam pressure and go faster. You want to slow down, you crank it this way. This guy was for the stern steam. And it was a whole different system. You shut down most of the uh, turbine, the steam going into the turbine, except that there's two end sections that are called stern steam. And in that last foot on each end of this big turbine here, uh, all the blades are turned 180 degrees opposite. So when you shut this one down and turn this one on, you're getting reverse steam pressure on the turbine. It'll take it about 45 minutes to actually slow down and stop. And then if you leave it on long enough, the propellers will start turning backwards. But usually they use that just as a convenient place to dump some heavy steam when they're running at full pressure to go fast and now they want to slow down the ship no place to get rid of all that steam that's come through. So they have to signal the uh, boiler rooms, they start cutting back the temperature so they make less steam, cool everything down. But while that's happening, you gotta get rid of all that excess steam. They just dump it into the stern system. It's enough to help slow the ship down, but it won't stop it. If you leave it on for maybe an hour, it, it will stop the ship and then it start backing up. But they almost never did that. So this guy here is the important one, and what happens, if you're cruising, they're usually cruising at about 13 knots, and that's called standard speed, beyond this setting. And uh, over here is an indicator that shows where you are, uh, and that's controlled by the captain up in this room. This is the pilot house, way up above the flight deck, three levels up. And the, uh, the, uh, this is called the pilot house. It has the steering wheel, and this is the speed, engine speed requester, <laughs> and engine order telegraph, they call it. So if he wants to go faster, he will give an order to a quartermaster up there. That guy will pull his handle back and forth about three times and leave the big arrow pointed at the speed he wants. And he'll go from standard and leave this pointed at full. When he does that, it rings a bell down here to get your attention because it's almost impossible to hear anything down here. It's so noisy. But you hear something like that with this one. And you look over here and you see he changed the order. And you just turn this to match and push this little lever. I've seen these things in movies, but I've never seen this one. And when he pushes this lever, the little arrow in the middle moves over and points the same way as the big one. They're both pointed at flank speed, which means maximum speed of 33 knots. And the captain knows you got the order and you understood it. They repeat all those orders over these headphones, and these are powered by the vibrations of your voice. They actually uh, got a little thin metal plate in, this, in the microphone. They're so old they won't stay put together. But when you push the talk button, this little plate here vibrates with your voice. <laughs> oh, there it is up there, talk button. And that will convert that, uh, your voice sounds to a sound you can broadcast through headphones or something like that. And it also moves some little coils around that create enough power to send that signal through the ship if your regular power of communications is out. So those are very handy. And then you have to be wearing the headphones and this would be hanging from a fixture on your neck. So, so they can do that pretty quickly. <laughs> so when they get an order down here for the captain to go to maximum speed, like that, he'll do this. Next thing they'll do, he'll start opening this wheel to come up to maximum steam pressure. But you can't do it too fast. If you go too fast, When you turn this thing on, you probably move it, you probably have 600 pounds pressure on the system in that top gauge. Uh, as soon as you start to open this, it's going to fall off a little below 600 because the guys in the boiler rooms haven't had time to create more steam yet. 
You don't want it to get down too low. You don't ever want to get down to, say, uh, uh, as low as 585. If you go down to, uh, you go down from 6 to uh, 596, uh, uh, 595, uh, that's okay. 590, you get much below 590, you want to stop and wait. Because it's going to take them a while to create more steam and meet your demand. If you ask for too much, they can't supply the demand. You're going to create a partial vacuum inside the engine, and that's going to create all sorts of problems. It's going to make the engine put out black or white smoke out the smokestack, makes you more visible to the enemy, and it's going to slow you down, and you won't be able to just recover easily by going the other way. So they got to take this in little steps. They keep watching this, watch your main steam gauge, don't get below 585 or even too close to it. And it's going to take you 35 minutes to go from 15 knots to 33. <clears throat> the captain knows that. He's not going to be upset by the delay. While you're doing that, he's usually doing that because he wants to launch aircraft. And while you're doing that, he's swinging the ship in the big arc to get the bow of the ship. More, more honestly, the front of the flight deck pointed into any natural wind. Because if you can get the ship up to 33 knots using its steam, and then you have another 40 knots of natural wind, you got 70 knots of airspeed before the airplanes even move. They don't have to move very far or very fast to get up. The World War II airplanes could fly at about 70 knots. Today's jets need more like 120, but they have bigger, more powerful engines now, <laughs> and they have no trouble getting to 120 knots. So, uh, so that's what they would do with this. 